Welcome back to another episode of Damachi. Last episode was really, really, I guess, the first pop-off episode, right? Bell has shown us a new move. But before we get into that, how do human was pretty sick too? I kind of guessed that it would be like an AoE party-wide level buff. Maybe it was a bit too obvious. What threw me off was the tails though. She only has five tails that she can grow. But she said something about... There wasn't... Uh, I forget in the flashback. I think there was a mention of like a nine tails. And usually with like these kind of like fox beasts in anime you know the qb for example the most uh generic one nine tails right it's nine tails i'm gonna assume as haruhime grows she's gonna have to she's gonna be able to get to nine tails and basically level boof nine people at once which is fucking insane and it could get only more insane if if it's already insane enough but imagine if the level boost is like two levels instead of one right and that plus the duration but this is our like this is our trump card this is our last resort as Lily was talking about before. If she uses it once, she's done, right? So it's kind of like a trump card. We didn't get to use it on Bell. Could you, Matt? They, they're really, they're really, um, because I wanted to see an Argo Vesta with Haruhime buff, right? But maybe too much to show immediately. Well, I'm sure we'll get it later. But at the same time, if Bell got that power boost and was able to beat a monster or some kind of big opponent, would it be considered cheating? Would he take shame in that? Like if, for example, against Asterius last season, if he was on the fire boost and he was able to fight on equal terms, would it be considered cheating? I don't know. We're just trying to survive at this point, right? Bell didn't get it. Everybody else got it. Aisha, honestly, we knew that Aisha was amazing, but she goes just more and more. She was holding off Moss Huge for the longest time by herself. Like, there's a lot of props to Aisha, right? But Bell kind of comes in at the very end when, well, there's this one part where it kind of irks me. Even though it shouldn't, I'm just fucking criticizing for no fucking reason. Lily's kind of, Lily has to make uh, a choice between, do I let these adventurers sacrifice, uh, go to Vayne by running, by joining them and kind of protecting everybody, even though we're obviously losing at that point, or do we just run back and let everybody know above that this monster does exist, right? In a real world scenario, and this is not real world, this is anime, right? We the smart thing would be to just go back up. Right. As a, strat as, as a strategist, you got to think of the objective, what's the realistic uh, outcome, right? That's to go back up, honestly. But if he did that, it doesn't feel in line with like the core theme of Damachi or just like these kind of... It's not a shonen anime, but there are shonen aspects, right? It feels kind of bad to leave them behind, right? So she sticks around and she says, No, I'm going to stick here because that's what Belle would do. Pretty stubborn, not objectively smart, but... I would feel kind of shitty. Maybe some kind of taste of like, oh, I can't believe we did that if we actually left behind. Bell comes in at the end, saves the day. And before he was able to use Argo Vesta, there was some talks about how Bell was able to move even better and better. And apparently, we know that Bell has some crazy leveling progress compared to every other adventurer. Within four months, he's gotten to level four, right? What I didn't even realize was while they were saying Bell's growing stronger, there was, I think Mikoto was talking about how Bell's doesn't, like, he grew to level 2, 3, and 4 so quick, he never got to fully understand how to use his powers all the way out. So at each level, it was never the true potential of that level, if, if that makes sense. Meaning, there's so much more room to grow, despite the fact that he's already growing at a ridiculous speed, right? So that's kind of mind-boggling. And on top of that, we get Argo Vesta, a different usage of Firebolt. He's imbuing it on the blade this time. Even though Well specifically said magic doesn't... Uh, something about magic doesn't really imbue into this dagger as well. But the properties of Firebolt is that it's so persistent. I read the comments the guys wrote, I know. But it's a bit of a spoiler if I kind of... Uh, like, I want to research it. I want to... What you guys are telling me aren't really spoilers. But I'm sure in the next coming episode, they might explain to us. Maybe they won't in the anime. Maybe this is more light novel specific. So getting that kind of uh, context is important. But basically... Firebolt persistent doesn't just disappear immediately is able to boost Hestia knife and it's called Argo Vesta because Vesta is another name for Hestia in the past. Maybe we'll get more lore about that. I don't really know, but let's get started today with uh today's episode, which should be a new arc, I think. Yeah, this first expedition started off really strong. Honestly, the Moss Monster it's still hard for me to take it seriously because it's like the nature of a moss, but it, it, did, it did more work than most monsters that we've seen so far, right? Intelligent on top of like being lethal. Gonna get some lily scenes? Oh, we're gonna get some lily scenes? I wonder what they're gonna talk about. Something about... Hmm, I don't know. 
We haven't gotten Lillian Bell specifically in a while. The rabbit's foot. Isn't the rabbit's foot supposed to be really lucky? I wonder what kind of new arc we're going to get into. What got postponed? The Donatus? Traditional meeting. Oh, a god's meeting. The gods are pretty petty though, right? Because they're just kind of really bored. What's the meeting about? Naming ceremony for adventurers. Naming. Decent. Bell, like the little rookie, for example? Like, we're going to get new names like that? Ganesha! <laughs> oh, Freya, goddamn. I love Ganesha so much, dude. <laughs> I wonder why Ganesha never gets old. Oh? Fure Ignis. Okay, sounds pretty cool. Never cold. We will never freeze. Oh, I couldn't see Hephaestos' reaction, but she just seems like she was shivering there. Uh, the last hero! Everybody is excited for Bells. Little Rookie is old. Nah, the last hero. How about that? Oh, Freya? Oh! Oh, she, Freya's interested. I mean, we know that she is interested, but she's been interested since season one. Absolutely. Absolutely. No, back from season one, man. Not even Asterius. It's gotta be. Oh my god, she. I mean, it is Freya, though. I got, I got, I got, I got to let Freya do her thing, you know. Last hero. They're really competing over Bell, but Ice is the one that he only cares about. The last hero. What does that mean? Husband of Freya. Freya's trolling. <laughs> She's not even trying. That was such a straight for it. Freya's husband, it'll be his name. Everybody's- But I'm sure Hermes will- Hermes will probably- Is it gonna be Rabbit's Foot? I mean, the title is Rabbit's Foot, but... You know what Hermes is talking about? He'll position Bell to be the last hero every time he refers to Zeus and the remnants of before. What is her- I want Hermes to- <laughs> Freya looks- <laughs> When she's just smiling like that, she looks kind of pissed off, but... Ignis for wealth does sound pretty cool. But what's his new name? Is it actually gonna be Rabbit's Foot? Rabbit's foot. Okay. Rabbit's foot. White rabbit's foot. Rabbit's foot, again, is supposed to be like a lucky item charm, isn't it? The one-on-one -on -one talk, right? What are we going to talk about? Hmm. <laughs> We're really holding off that talk, huh? Okay. Surely it's not going to be something as like Lily's confession to Bell, right? A love confession? Come on, we're beyond that, right? I Hmm? What's up? Lily's not gonna get her time to talk, huh? It's gonna be like this the entire time. And then after them with that, and then someone else is gonna come, and they need to talk, and Lily's not gonna get a chance. I get it, I get it. Uh-oh, it's real. Uh-oh. You butts and dum-dums. Get to fucking work, no time to be depressed. I forgot her name was literally called Mamma Mia. <laughs> Mamma Mia. Ryu, where'd you go? Okay, we are literally just using it for clout. I mean, yeah, sure, but like, really, this is it? Lily's like, really? For some fucking discounts? Pretty much. I mean, we're broke! We're broke! Oh, Lily's gonna get a recognition while eavesdropping while- and then Belle's gonna ask- Oh, it's gonna be that kind of thing. And then Belle's gonna say a nice thing about Lily. Oh. Honestly, we haven't had much of Lily focus in a long time. Like, she's just been in the backseat for a long time. Too many new characters, too many new girls, right? How did he make sure up out of nowhere? The Weenish came out of nowhere and took the entire season. <laughs> and all Lily was good for was uh, being like the, uh, the voice of reason, which honestly turns her into a villain. Most of the times, saying the shit that nobody wants to hear but has to say. I feel bad for Lily because of that. Yes, and how convenient was it that we didn't buff Belle? Because that's safe for some future stuff, right? Or maybe Belle just doesn't want to rely on Harumi's power. I mean, it's not like he's never used it. We used it in season th two, right? Was it? Yeah, yeah, it was against Freen in season two.
Haruhime. Haruhime. No, you deserve all the praise and more, Haruhime. I want her to be embarrassed, but then her tail starts wagging because she's so excited. That's the best thing about. Oh! Oh, no, there's the tail wag! Oh my god! Animal hybrids, and whenever their ears are fucking perking up or their tails wag, it's it's just too much for me. It's it's just oh my, it's too much. I'm not a furry though. I'm not a furry. Yeah, I just talked about how Kokune probably is more strenuous than ever before. Do you? You sound a bit quiet and not too energized. Hmm. Been a m ah, if you tell them you made a mermaid, wouldn't be good. Oh, that's what Lee want to talk about. It's tough. Tell him. Tough. Yeah, the Iguazu honestly like ignited something within it. Mari, uh, we don't talk about the mermaid. No, no, no. She made us the. Uh, what did she do? Suck and swallow? Yikes. Yo, that Iguazu really like came out of nowhere. I, I thought it was like a minor monster to be, but the fact that he used that as like motivation against Moss Youth, saying it's slower than Iguazu. But because like the comparison. The hero, he is a hero, but you know the comparison? before was, he's not as strong as Asterius, and he's not as fast as Iguana, but it's like, when I- Iguaza or something. When I compare the contrast between Asterius and these random ass fucking mosquito monsters, right? It's like, Jesus, are they that, you know? They're, they're, they're using the same comparison, so I'm like, God damn, seems a bit much when you're comparing it to Asterius. Aisha! Mr. Ignis is a little drunk! Lily, you're never gonna get your time, man. Everybody's treating Bell. Remember that one time for a bit in season three when everybody fucking despised Bell, the wor the, the most hated adventurer. <laughs> it's quickly made a, made a made a bounce back. I mean, obviously there was a lot more than that. We had to enact a fight in the public against Astadius and kind of prove that he is not on the side of the monsters. But you know, rabbit's foot. Rabbit's foot. Little second name, not just little rookie. He's a little rookie rabbit's foot. Oh, Lily or it's Lily's. No, you. It's been ruined. I'm sorry, Lily. You couldn't even ask him what happened down below. You couldn't even surprise him about the nickname. Lily's just getting stolen for content, man. I'm sorry, Lil. Oh, I'm sorry, Lily. <laughs> Lily, you got any other cards up your sleeve? Oh no, she even paid money for the news! No, Lily! Aisha. Aisha's hot and bothered. Uh, can you invite me? Oh my god, Aisha! Jesus, man! Look at this angle that they're panning! Although, one design change that I'm a little bit upset... They're showing more of Aisha's legs, which is great. But having that mesh layer, that, that veil guys... What's a little because you can still see the legs, but it's transparent mesh, you know, another layer. It, it was more sexy in my opinion, <laughs> rather than showing the entire bare leg. It's a minor, it's a minor <laughs> thing I'm criticizing about, but yes, I, I, I'm a degenerate too. I know, yes, I know. Yeah, that's why you guys need to catch up with them. And you, they are, they are catching up. They're, you know, doing extra training, uh, stepping into other positions. They, re they really stepped up. In Lily's absence, even Aisha made note of that, right? It's not like they're doing bad. It's just that Bell's growth is fucking... It's too much. Rabbit's foot. Aw, oh, thank you, Lily. This is nice to get some more Lily scenes, man. Lily has honestly felt more distant to me because it's it's uh, inevitable. When you get more characters into the roster, it's hard to give everybody so much attention, right? Lily did have quite the impactful, like, joining of our team moments. The fuck is going on here? Who are you? Ryu? Yeah, I'm glad to know that Ryu's alive, but her eyes are red. Yeah? R what, are you, what, are you, what are you doing right now, Ryu? What are you, is it, I guess this is the next arc that's leading up. So, I guess the next arc that we're going to go into is going to be what happened with Ryu and her... And it's, it does really seem like she did murder, unless it's like a fake god and it's like, Oh, Ryu actually didn't murder this person. He was already injured and she's kind of like, I, I think Ryu might have murdered somebody. I, it's again, all of Ryu's stuff was in season one, which was many, 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 many years ago that I haven't even realized because I started with season two immediately. And, and even then I was still forgetting a lot of things. I forget a lot about her backstory. All I do remember is that during the war game, she was chastised for using the magic swords that because 
the people that burnt down Ryu's village used the magic swords upon her, right? So does it have something to do with that? Is she finding revenge right now? Is this a revenge story for Ryu? Because if you look at her eyes, it's red and she's looking like Sasuke right now. But I'm sure it'll be more explained in the future episodes. And I guess this is the next arc. So Belle's new nickname is Rabbit's Foot. Do I like it? It's lucky. It sounds cute. Fits Belle, but... I'm just a little bit underwhelmed because I wanted the last hero, but that's jumping too much. It's, whoa, 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 relax, relax, relax. We'll get to the last hero later on, but I, I was just kind of jumping onto that because I wanted Hermes to step up and be like, what about the last hero, huh? Because Hermes has a plan to basically make Bell into the last hero, but it might not go the way that he exactly wants, seeing as how his plan against, um, at the season finale of season three, right? Against the battle against Asterius and everything. It kind of blew up beyond his imagination and Freya was beyond that. Freya's... Suggestion. She's pretty funny. <laughs> how about Freya's wife? Huh? How about Freya's wife? Is that good? Why is Freya so obsessed with Bell since season one? Probably has to do with this innate ability of leveling up so fast, Argonaut, and all that jazz, right? I'm sure she sees the true potential in Bell, but maybe something more than meets the ass. There's got to be something a little bit more than that, right? Because based on what Otara was saying was in like season two and stuff, it's like she wants. It, Belle is someone that's monopolized Freya's love, right? Maybe they feel all neglect that Freya doesn't like love her children as much as she would love Belle, and Belle's not even part of the family, right? I would feel a little bit, honestly, a little, I'd feel more than jealous, to be honest, if, if Freya was, you know, my goddess. But Otaru, honestly, is so loyal and to just devoted to the cause, right? For my divine goddess, I'll do anything. It doesn't matter. I don't need anything as long as I can do this for her. That's all that's needed. Interesting character what that is, but that's pretty much the episode. Anyways, if you stick around this long, if you don't enjoy my reaction, you already know what I'm gonna say. Check out the other videos and playlists to my channel. If you watch another video immediately after this one, it helps YouTube. I'll go push on my small channel to be recommended so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.